top challenges when you first get into heat printing t-shirts is knowing placement and alignment of your graphic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can save time and money by following a few tips at the heat press to be able to press a center front and a left chest placement. Let's start by using the Hotronics Auto Clam. First, we're gonna start by doing the center front placement, and I'm gonna start by loading on my t-shirt by threading it so that I'm working with a single layer. And when I thread this on, I'm making sure to push it back so that the platen is dressed with the t-shirt and it's reaching the shoulders of the garment. At this point, I'm going to just pull out my sleeves to make sure that my garment is center of my platen. And once that is all set and it looks like I'm center of my platen, I'm gonna start by pulling off my collar slowly. So we wanna get that collar out of the way of our print area. Now, before I place my transfer, I'm going to do a preheat. And whenever I go to place my transfer, all I have to do at this point is just place it. And then I'm going to take my four fingers, that is going to measure out about three inches down from the collar. And once I am three inches down from the collar by using my four fingers, I'm gonna make sure that design, the top of that design is reaching the bottom of my fourth finger there. That shows me that I am exactly where I need to be from the collar so that I'm at an accurate center front placement. And to get a better visual of this, I can also pull out the sleeves again because we wanna also be middle of the sleeves as well. And now we can heat apply. The transfer we're heat applying is our ultra color transfers. So I'm actually going to wait for this to cool. And while I wait for that to cool, I'm gonna load on my next garment and show you how to do a left chest placement. So we're gonna follow those same steps that we did by loading on the garment and dressing the platen with the t-shirt. And before I actually move the collar off before placing my transfer, I'm going to utilize it to help me measure out exactly where my left chest placement goes. So where the shoulder seam meets the collar, that is going to indicate where is center for my left chest. So I want my design to be center of where that seam meets the collar. And then I'm going to drop down about six inches. Once I have my placement, I'm just gonna slide this off, let the collar drop off the front of the platen, and now I can heat apply. Now let's head to the table and peel our transfers. Now that it's nice and cool, I can go ahead and peel my transfer. And with the garment laid out on the table, you can see by just following those instructions, we'll go ahead and review those one more time, four fingers down from the collar where the top of your design starts. And it really helps by being able to dress the platen and thread it to see exactly where you are center of that platen where that collar lays on it. Now let's look at the left chest logo. And we're gonna remove the carrier of our left chest placement. And as you can see, we are exactly where we need to be for a left chest logo. Now let's review again how we were able to find this placement. So we are going based off of where the shoulder seam meets the collar. That is helping us align center of our graphic. And we're dropping roughly six inches from where that seam meets the collar. Now that can vary based on the size of your t-shirt. So just keep that in mind. I am working with a ladies medium. Now to give you a reference based off of how far it is down from the collar, whenever we reviewed the center front, we said we wanted to be 
uh, three inches from the collar, which is roughly four fingers, and you can see the beginning of my design starts over to the left, but still that three inches down from the collar. Save time and money when it comes to heat printing t-shirts by implementing these few tips and tricks for these two popular placements. For more information on the products used in this video, visit the links in the description.